Guys, major news coming in from the province of British Columbia where Vancouver is. Now, BC PNP has undergone a major overhaul. Big changes have been introduced in the points allocation system. If you are looking forward to BC PNP for your Canadian PR, then this video will highlight the major changes which can directly impact your chances of being picked up by the province for their PNP program. Please be sure to watch the video till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to connect with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this channel will be able to help you to the best of the efforts. Guys, what we're discussing today is the very important BC PNP. Now, British Columbia is the province where the city of Vancouver is, which is the second most densely populated city in Canada. Now, British Columbia PNP is one of the most sought after PNPs because people generally find Ontario PNP to be a little more challenging, a little more competitive and a little more commanding and demanding. Now, BC PNP happens to be by far the most famous because of the BC PNP, which is much more welcoming, relaxed, and also the BC Tech Pilot, which is again a magnet for IT professionals. Now, as a part of the whole PNP program, BC PNP has its own point-based allocation system. Now, these points will give you certain points based on your education, age, your work experience, the job offer that you're being, you know, historically the job offer that you were offered, the occupation, the knock code that was being offered, then the salary, the location and everything. Before November 16th, 2022, these points of the BC PNP guide would tell you that how many points are you getting. Then every fortnight or every 15 days, maybe 30 days, BC PNP would hold a draw based on the particular category, the skill, and then, you know, a, cut, a specific cutoff with maybe specific knock codes. If people were invited, they would then, you know, proceed further with their BC PNP file submission. Now, the big news or the big change is that starting November 16th, 2022, the province of British Columbia has rolled out its new guide, which is uh, telling clearly about the change in the point allocation system. Now, there are six major changes that have handled, you know, that have happened in the point system. The first big change is that there are no more points allocated to the knock code of the job offer that you are getting. Earlier, there were certain knock codes, maybe they were in demand by the province, certain were ineligible and certain provinces say knock zero, A, B, all of them had different levels of approval or different levels of points. Before November 16th, they had different points. After November 16th, they are saying there are no points allocated to the type of job offer. And also this is important because now the NOC codes have moved from the skill based system to the tier based system. So no more points tied to the type of job offer that you get. The second biggest change is that the reallocation of points has happened majorly and every human capital point is being you know factored under. The major changes are that directly related work experience with regards to the job offer that is being offered has now been pumped up to 60 points instead of the previously uh, owned up 40 points. If the highest level of education was previously sitting at 25, it has now been pumped up to 40 points. Now, depending upon what is your level of education, you could get up to 40 points. So you should directly refer to the BCPNP guide. The language proficiency scores have also been jacked up to 40, which was previously sitting at 30 points. The hourly wage of the job offer have also been jacked up to 55 points, which are previously 50 points. And I will in this video also talk about what are the variations, like why have they been jacked up to 55 while they were 50 earlier, right? So I will, I mean, later in the video, we will be talking about how have the cha these changes come into force. And then the area within British Columbia, where it's either in the metro area or maybe in the surrounding uh, certain districts or maybe outside the districts where it's not been named, you could score up to 25 points where previously this was only capped at just 10 points. So if you look at the NOC codes, the difference and the, the changes of the codes, once they moved out, BC has allocated more points to these certain categories, which is now account, which is now accounting to more points in your profile, right? Now, looking at the, uh, the designation specifically, they're saying if an applicant is a part of the professional designations, which can be read more in the PNP guide, a person can get additional 50 points. Now trades and all of these professional designations 
can be looked at upon in that particular situation and you could get additionally five points. The uh, another change which I was talking about was related to your language proficiency. Earlier, the maximum score of language was only, uh, you know, attained once a person reached CLB 10 or CLB, which is, you know, a language benchmark, a 10 would mean say 8.5 in listening, 7.5, 7.5 and 7.5 in uh, speaking, reading and writing. Now, to get maximum points in that category, you don't have to hit CLB 10. You can only get that at CLB 9 as well. So that's a positive change. The other change would be that the cities, now if the person is in the Metro Vancouver area, then there are zero points to it. But if the person is in the Chilliwack district, Abbotsford, Squamish, or maybe Agassiz or Mission, then the person can get five points. Now, if you are living in a city that has not been mentioned or district that has not been mentioned, then you could get up to 15 points, which was earlier kept low. So if you're working in the regional areas of uh, BC, which is BC PNP, then you could get additional points. Last but not the least, the higher wage ceiling has also been pushed up. There is now additional five points in that. Earlier, they were kept at only 50. They are now getting additional five, which is 55. Guys, all in all, these major changes have been made with regards to BCPNP and the changes are now live on the BCPNP uh, website where you can head out and make more changes. If you have any questions with regards to BC, feel free to schedule a consultation with us. We can definitely look at your profile, assess it and give you more points or give you uh, the exact uh, eligibility view of how you are standing in BCPNP. But overall, I would say uh, BCPNP has made positive changes. They've always been up to it and BCPNP is one of the most popular PNPs as well because they're fairly quicker and they're much more open to different kind of job offers as well and people can get their way into BCPNP rather than looking at the other provinces, right? So it is one of by far the most famous one and personally I like BC because Vancouver as an area or you know the surrounding area of greater Vancouver area is highly uh, acceptable towards job offers and you know growth in the cities and everything so it is a great place to be so i personally think that bc pnp is definitely worth a shot and worth an assessment guys if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us feel free to schedule a consultation and we would be more than happy to help you out once again we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in canada all the best <music>